This week's word of the week is going to be autogenous. And we've got a lot of times so we're going to do a quick video here on what autogenous means. Um, basically what it means is it's a welding process without filler metal. If somebody says to you, you know, do this autogenously and you don't know what it is and you're a, a person that's in the welding world, you're going to look a little foolish. So you're going to want to know what autogenous means. Uh, processes they use it, usually they're talking about a TIG welding process or gas tungsten arc welding uh, most of the time. Uh, plasma arc welding, laser, electron beam, all these processes you can do autogenous welds. Uh, what does autogenous mean? I got it over here on the computer. I'll read the definition. A weld joint developed by melting the vein surfaces and subsequently solidification only without using any filler metal is called autogenous welding. So. Uh, that's the exact definition. Uh, what we'll do is um, we'll go out there and we'll find a TIG weld, uh, same joint, one with um, filler metal and then one done, done autogenously. Uh, typically when you do one autogenously, uh, it's going to be a little concave because you don't have that filler metal. Uh, they're pretty easy to see. Um, a lot of robotic applications here because you can do it really fast. Once you get that puddle started, you just burn right through and it'll follow it. So, um, there's a lot of high-speed robotic applications for autogenous welding. So what we'll do is we'll go grab a couple plates that um, just lap joints that have um, one done with filler and then one done autogenously. So we'll go grab them plates and check them out. This is the uh, lap joint that we did with filler metal on stainless. You can see the bead is basically flat. It's not really convex or concave. What we'll do now is we'll look at the uh, autogenous weld we did, and you'll see that it's a lot more uh, concave than the one with filler. This is the autogenous weld we did, same lap joint that we did with fill, and you can see that it's a lot more concave. It's an effective weld, but not as effective if, if you would have used filler metal. So that wraps up the word of the week for this week, autogenous. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld.